Here it is, the perfect cycling setup. All right, let me explain. I know that I've made videos before about my perfect setup. <laughs> but the thing is, the idea is for me to make it easy to make the video while having fun. <laughs> and I think I found finally the two items that I needed to accomplish that. But let me go back to the beginning of the year. I went from having like big bags and a lot of cameras around my bike and then slowly like uh, taking things away going smaller be more efficient and i think i found like the right setup and for people that, that are trying to get into something like this uh, recording their adventures and making it fun because you don't want to be overwhelmed uh, while well, making these videos uh, for people on YouTube because the thing is that then it's gonna come it's gonna become like a job and it's gonna show up in the video and then you you see those videos when when you become depressed or <laughs> or <laughs> you don't want to do it anymore uh, so for you to keep it simple and and to make it fun you need to have the right equipment and not overwhelm myself with like the production things you have to remember that YouTube is supposed to be about like reality TV. It's supposed to be simple. It's not supposed to resemble a movie. It's supposed to just show you like the real person, like what that person is really doing. So going back to my setup, <laughs> because I think I'm going off on different things. I have these two items. I have the hip pack uh, from Osprey and also i have the dango design a clamp which this thing is amazing so so let me go first with this one because this thing this thing reminds me of a, a quote from a friend of mine which is simplicity is the ultimate sophistication <laughs> you, you this thing is amazing like let me show you this is basically this so this is uh, a clamp from uh, home depot this is something that i use to uh, cut things <laughs> in the garage so this is the same thing these people are genius like this this concept is amazing and the beautiful thing about this is that you just like put it on and it's so uh, like it's steady and 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 hard it's, this thing is not gonna go anywhere you put it on your full face helmet which this is one of the reasons why I'm using a full face helmet because the thing is that uh, having something like this in, in your camera it is it, something that is uh, it takes away from having too many things attached to your body so if you if you're gonna wear a helmet anyways, so th this is something that you cannot ride without. You need to have a helmet. Might as well utilize the helmet with the camera equipment. And and this thing is, is perfect for that. I mean, if you're riding um, your road bike, then that might be weird for you to, <laughs> to wear a full face helmet. So that will only apply when you're riding a mountain bike. All right, so the other item will be the Asper 07, and this thing is amazing. <laughs> so this this will be a hip uh, bag or fanny pack, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's see what we can put in this bag. We have a 1.5 hydration pack, which is the equivalent of two water bottles, and it's really compact. I mean, it's, if you if you fill it up all the way up, it's gonna have some uh, weight to it. But once you go along with your ride, and, and you keep drinking the water, it's gonna get lighter and lighter. So that, that's a, a big plus. All right, so for the two front compartments, I have my multi-tools here. 
I also have my knife in case I run into a bear. <laughs> I have uh, my flat tire kit uh, with the CO2 and the valves so I can pump, pump some air. I have uh, the chain link in case the chain breaks. I also have the medical kit in case I have a cut. And I have a spare tooth. So if I get hungry, I have two protein bars that I always keep there and everything fit there perfectly. And I also have some room to spare. Uh, but I think this is the perfect setup. This is the, everything that I would need uh, for the front uh, two pockets. All right, so there you go with everything inside. Uh, every, it, I have the water and I have all my tools and I have everything that I need. I was really surprised uh, with the way it felt. I thought it was going to be something that was going to be like too heavy or was going to be like maybe um, sliding down my waist but because you have some very secure straps on the side it makes it really secure so this is something that even though you're moving around it's not something that is gonna shake as much and to be honest like I, when I was riding I forgot about that I had that uh, hip pack in my back <laughs> so even if you shake it really hard, like you don't, you don't feel it that much. And, and like I said before, once you start riding, the bike is gonna get lighter and lighter. Because the thing is that you're gonna stop drinking that water, so that 1.5 liter is gonna be getting lighter and lighter. So you're gonna feel, you're gonna get tired, but you, you're gonna have less weight on top of you. All right, so that was my setup. Uh, I'm gonna try this for a few weeks, a few months, and then I will make sure I report back to you to make sure that this is the right one uh, that I'm gonna keep moving forward. <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Ciao. Okay. Do you wanna play with us?